Hello friends, welcome to the world of project management and for an overview session on project resource management process that is acquire resources. Note of this training is to share my experience in preparing for PMP certification and I have prepared few slides. Let's quickly move to our agenda for this today's session. That we are going to discuss on what is acquire resources process and its attitudes that is inputs, tools and techniques and outputs. It is the third process in the project resource management and it is defined as Accurate resources is a process of obtaining the team members, facilities, equipment, materials, supplies and other resources necessary to complete the project work. The main key benefit of this process is that it outlines and guidelines the selection of resources and assigns them to their respective activities. Hope you understood about this definition and the key benefit. Let's quickly move to the ITTOs of this process. I have few points to discuss here. Before going to discuss on this ITTOs, we have few important factors that should be considered during the process of acquiring the resources. Let me explain. The project manager at the project team should effectively negotiate and influence the others who are in the position to provide the required team and physical resources for the project. This is the first point. And second is failure to acquire the necessary resources for the project may affect the project schedules, budget, customer satisfaction, quality and risk. So we have to be careful on this. And the third point is if the team resources are not available due to the constraints such as economic factors or assignment to the other projects, then the project manager or the project team may be required to assign the alternative resources perhaps with the different competencies or cost. So this is the third point we need to take care during the process of acquiring the resources. So these are the three important factors which need to be considered. So let's move to our ITTO's discussion. In inputs, we have the project management plan which consisting of the resource management plan, procurement management plan and also we have the cost baseline. Coming to the project documents, in the project documents, we have the project schedule, resource calendars, resource requirements and the stakeholder register. And also we have the enterprise environmental factors and the organizational process assets. And coming to the tools and techniques, we have the decision making technique, with con which consisting of the multi-criteria analysis. And we have the interpersonal and team skills, which consisting of the negotiation skill. And we have the pre-assignment and also the virtual times. And coming to the outputs, we have the physical resource assignments, project team assignments, resource calendars, change requests, the project management plan updates, which consisting of the resource management plan and the cost baseline. And also we have here the project documents, updates, which consisting of the lessons learned register, project schedule, resource breakdown structure, resource requirements, risk register, and the stakeholder register. And also we have here in the outputs, the EEF updates and the OPS updates, that is enterprise environmental factors updates and the organizational process assets updates. Okay, fine. Let's discuss its input first in more detail. Starting with first input, we have the project management plan, which consisting of the resource management plan and the procurement management plan and the cost baseline. Let me explain in detail. Here, the resource management plan provides a guidance on how to acquire the resources for the project. And coming to the procurement management plan, here the procurement management plan has the information regarding the resources that, that will be acquired from outside the project or external. And coming to the cost baseline, cost baseline provides the overall budget for the project activities. Hope you understood this project management plan input. Let's move to the next input. We have the project documents. Here we have the project schedule, resource calendars, resource requirements and the stakeholder register. Let me explain one by one. First with the project schedule. Here in the project schedule, it shows the activities and their planned start and end dates to help determine when the resources need to be available and occurred. Hope you understood this. Moving to the resource calendars. This resource calendars document the time periods that each resource is needed for the project 
and also the availability of the project. Hope you know about this resource calendars as similar kind of uh, our shift calendars in our project that is shift rotas. Coming to the resource requirements. Here the resource requirements identify which resources needed to be acquired. It's so simple here and coming to the stakeholder register. The stakeholder register may relieve the stakeholders needs or expectations for specific resources to be used on the project that need to be considered in this process that is acquired resource process. Hope you understood this input. Let's move to the next input that is we have the EFs and the OPS. In the EFs, we have different uh, existing information on the organizational resources including the availability, competency levels and prior experience for the team resources and the resource cost. And also we have the market conditions here in the EFs and we have the organizational structure and also we have the geographical locations and the, that is the resources acquiring from the different locations. And also coming to the OPS, organizational process assets, in the OPS we have the different policies and procedures for acquiring, allocating and assigning the resources to the project and also it includes the historical information and the lessons learned repository. Fine. Hope you understood about this inputs of the acquired resources process. Let's move to its tools and techniques. In tools and techniques, we have the decision making which consisting of the multi-criteria analysis, interpersonal and team skills which consisting of negotiation and we have pre-assignments and the virtual teams. First, let's discuss the decision making technique consisting of multi-criteria analysis. Using this multi-criteria decision analysis, Criteria are developed and used to rate or score the potential resources that is choosing between the internal and external team resources and also these criteria are weighted according to the relative importance and values can be changed for different types of resources. Hope you understood this technique. We have some examples here for the selection criteria also that is the availability, cost and ability. Let's uh, discuss on the av uh, availability on the selection criteria that is we have to verify that the resource is available to work on the project within the time period required that is needed. Coming to the cost with respect to the selection criteria, we need to verify if the cost of adding the resources is within the prescribed budget or not. Third is ability. We need to verify that the team member provides the capability needed by the project. So we need to consider this three things availability, cost and ab ability when we are going for this, this selection criteria for acquiring the resources. And also we have some selection criteria that are unique for the team resources which uh, categorized into experience, knowledge, skills, attitude and international factors. What are what comes under the experience? Here we need to verify that the team member has the relevant experience that will contribute to the project success. And second is knowledge. We need to consider if the team member has relevant knowledge of the customer, similar he worked on similar implemented projects or worked on the same type of project environments. And coming to the skills, we need to determine if the team member has the relevant skills to use as a project tool. Coming to the attitude main, we need to determine if the team member has the ability to work with the others as a cohesive team. And the last is international factors. We need to consider the team member location, time zone and communication capabilities. So this all the five categories we need to consider during the selection criteria for the team resources. Hope you understood this technique of the acquire resources. Let's move to the next technique. We have the interpersonal and team skills which consisting of the Negotiation. Here, the many projects need to be negotiated for required resources, as you know. The project management team may need to negotiate with different people, that is, with the different functional managers or project management teams or within the performing organization, or we need they have to negotiate with the external organization and suppliers, etc. And also here, the project management team's ability to influence the others plays a key role, an important role in negotiating the resource allocation. 
as does the politics of the organization involved okay hope you understood about this interpersonal and team skills technique let's move to the next technique we have the pre assignment what is pre assignment when physical or team resources for a project are determined in advance they are considered to be pre assigned that is pre assignment might also include the team members who have already been assigned in the dollar project chapter or other processes before the initial resource management plan has been completed okay hope you understood about this pre assignment technique let's move to the next technique we have virtual teams what's the use of this virtual teams the main use of the virtual teams creates new possibilities when acquiring the project team members and this virtual teams can be defined as groups of people with a shared goal who can fulfill their roles with the some little knowledge or time spending with face to face interactions and also the availability of communication technology such as email audio conferencing social media or web based meetings or video conferencings has made the virtual teams very feasible we have here we have three different ways in the virtual teams that is dedicated part time and partnership as explained in my previous session okay hope you understood uh, about this technique here it completes all the tools and techniques of the acquire resources so let's move to the outputs in the outputs first we have the physical resource assignments let me explain what is the physical resource assignments in these the documentation of the physical resource assignments records the material equipment supplies location and any other physical resources that will be used during the project hope you understood this moving to the next output we have the project team assignments in these the documentation of the team assignment records the team members and their roles and responsibilities for the project here the here this documentation which includes the project team directory and names inserted into the project management plan such as the project organization charts and schedules hope you understood this output moving to the next output resource calendars as i explained earlier a resource calendar identifies the working day shifts start and end day of the normal business hours weekends public holidays when each specific resource is available and assigned moving to the next output change request as i explained in my previous session when changes occur as a result of carrying out this process the project manager has to need to raise a change request and it has to go through the picc so for any change in the any process says we has to go through the picc that is perform integrated change control process hope you make a note of this going to the next output the project management plan updates here we have the resource management plan and the cost baseline let's explain one by one the resource management plan may be updated to reflect the actual experience in acquiring the resources for the project includes the lessons learned in acquiring the resources that is early in the project and also it will impact how the resources are acquired later in the project hope you understood about this resource management plan how it updated moving to the next output we have the cost baseline the cost baseline may change as a result of the acquisition of the resources for the project hope you understood this moving to the next output we have the project documents here the project documents we have the lessons learned register project schedule resource background structure resource requirements risk registered and the stakeholder register let me explain one by one first with the lessons learned register the lessons learned register is updated with the information on challenges encountered and how they could have been avoided as well as the approaches that worked well for acquiring the resources coming to the next output project schedule changes to the project schedule may result from the availability of the required resources moving to the next output resource breakdown structure here the resources acquired during the process are recorded in this rbs that is resource breakdown structure coming to resource requirements resource requirements documentation is updated to reflect the resources acquired for the project coming to the next output we have risk registered here the new risk new risk identified during this process are recorded in this risk register and managed using the different risk management processes 
and the last stakeholder registered. Here the stakeholder registered is updated with any new stakeholders and new information about the existing stakeholders that has been gained as a result of this process. Okay, hope you understood this output. Next, moving to the next output, we have enterprise environmental factors updates. Here in this output, on the EFs, which includes the resource availability within the organization and amount of the organization consumable resources that have been used. Hope you understood about the EFs updates. Moving to the OPA updates, organizational process assets updates. Here in this output, which includes the documentation related to acquiring, assigning and allocating the resources. Hope you understood this output and this completes the outputs of the acquiring process. It means that we have completed all the tools and techniques of the acquired process so that we have completed all the attitudes of the acquired process that is tools, techniques, inputs and outputs. This completes our session on this acquired resource process in the project resource management. Hope this complete session is easy and understandable. Fine, let's discuss more detail on the next process in the resource management that is develop team process in the next video. Kindly provide your feedback in the given email ID and subscribe my channel if you like this video. Bye for now, it's your Anil Kumar Dharam.